So this is what we're doing, guys. We're, we're, we're talking anime frauds, basically. Yeah, right. all, all spectrum of anime. And a lot of these um, pretty much are going to be from Shonen anime. Um, a lot of side characters, just a couple main... Actually, all. Now that I'm looking at it, the list that we... Oh, no, there's one main character. But a lot of side characters on this list. Um, and so basically what we want to do is we have a list of 10 um, characters that we want to basically call up for being frauds um, and basically make a rank them 1 through 10. Um, based right. on who they are, as the, the character, what they stood for and, and didn't do or did do and vice versa. Basically just them as, as a whole. Um, and so basically what we do, each person has a vote in a sense, I guess. Basically majority wins, majority wins as far as placing them. And as we go through the list, we can definitely change it. So if we put someone at five and four and we're like, ah, this next person should be at five and move them down, we can obviously do that, right? right. Um, but basically if it, it goes 50-50 split or something like that, we'll find a middle ground that everybody is kind of comfortable with um, and go from there. So, wait, do we have the? Are we gonna have a list in front of us, or are we? Doing yeah, something? that's what I was gonna say. Are you gonna so do like this? I won't. So I wanted to. Every time that I have done share screen on here, uh, it has completely screwed me up. Like as far okay. as my recording goes, so okay. I'm not. So I'll keep it. I'll keep it on tab basically. And if we have, if there's a question on where someone is, I will definitely. Um, I'll, 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 you know, I'll, I'll have that written down. I'll say something. So. Okay. Okay. All so right. you rigging. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, there's there's video right here. <laughs> Call, calling it out. That's wild. Look at that. That's crazy. All right. I mean, hey, we done, we done been in some Shonen Shonen videos now. All right. We done, we done seen some rigging going on. Some, uh, uh, relax. Some, relax. Mugen, some Mugen battle rigs. You know what I'm saying? Nah, 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 definitely not, definitely not on my end. You, you know what seen some crazy stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, so let's let's get into it. These frauds. First one, and I know I know our boy uh, down there in the corner, Mister Shonen Showdown, is gonna love this one. But uh, Shanks, fraud number one. Uh, P, I know you got a lot to say, and I actually want to hear P go off about this. But uh, I'll let I'll let our guests. If anyone you have any defense or accusations towards these characters, please state your case about their fraud level. <sighs> You know it's crazy. <laughs> um, <up> the mic. <laughs> <laughs> you know <laughs> this this right here is probably one of the most disrespectful things I've seen on Life at the Anime <laughs> Podcast so far. Um to have Shanks even be on this list makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Um and the reason why I say that is it's a disrespect to Oda's writing. It's just it's a disrespect to the entire series of One Piece. And I can't stand for that. First of all, I would opt and just having Shanks' name removed from the list and then we could pick somebody else in one piece. Uh, but since he's here, I would put him cl- literally at the bottom because there's no way Shanks is a fraud. Th- th- like everything that Shanks has done up to this point and the surrounding characters around him and everything else, it would literally make no sense for him to just switch up and me say, Oh, Hey, I'm evil now. And I feel like because people believe that he has, con- he has connections to the celestials or to the Gorse, that automatically means that he's in cahoots with them. If Shanks truly were in cahoots with the Gorse, di- literally in what's going on in Egghead right now is the time for Shanks to really come outside and say, Hey guys, I'm team Gorse. I'm Dragon team too, Celestial. But he ain't, he ain't hey, showed up either. But, 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 but you know, Shanks shows up as a kid fan. You know, Shanks shows up. All right. <laughs> anyway, back that's, to what I was saying. That's, that's up, there bro. is. <laughs> that's up, bro. <laughs> you know hey, okay so all i'm saying is shanks is definitely not a fraud we already know where this came from this came from the first time we saw shanks in the meeting with the gorsay people took that up and ran with it and said all right, well garling hit daddy you know relax even if he does have a connection to the gorsay <laughs> or the celestials in a bloodline type of way shanks is not on that side of things it literally would make no sense for the story for him to just switch up Right now, and I, it would not. No, it wouldn't make sense. It wouldn't make sense because Shanks literally stole the gum gum fruit off of a marine ship too. <laughs> yeah, but we, you know, okay, he yeah. did. He, he yeah, did. clearly wanted yeah. it for yeah. him, himself. You know, mm-hmm. like, do I think Shanks has his own motives? Yeah, I do think he has his own motives. Do I Probably think he's with the Gorase? Nah, I don't think he's with the Gorase. Yeah. I, no, I, 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 I would put that man on the bottom of the list too. I ain't gonna lie. That man, Shanks, that'd be crazy. Fraud. 
W Tracy. That's not a fraud right there. Mm-hmm. Yo, Joe, you want to go first? No, you got it. I, I can't because you you itching to go, so go. <laughs> I'm not, I'm really not itching to go. Um, so so here's my thing. Um, all of the points that Rob brought up are are the exact reasons why I think he should be on fraud watch. In my opinion, in my opinion, um, do I think he would side himself with the girl? Say. Maybe not. Do I think he has other motives that nobody knows about? I 100% do. Do I believe that those motives are going to have him and Luffy fight? 100%. If nothing else, I do believe that they're going to battle ideologies more than anything. But that's going to come up in a fist fight, in my opinion. I don't think everybody is is what Shanks... like. It's not as he as he appears in my point, in, in my opinion. I think that there are some really clouded things that we don't get to see a lot from Shanks, which is is Oda's like amazing, phenomenal writing. We won't get to know until the time actually happens. But I guarantee you it is not going to be sunshine and rainbow on Shanks's end. I can 100 percent guarantee that. Oh, 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 if 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 we're saying Shanks being a fraud means that he's going to compete with Luffy, then I feel like we're I'm missing what's being said here. I, I think Shanks I, is going to compete with the Straw Hats for sure. There's going to be a clash of some sorts. Now, it could be a friendly competition. It could be a Davy back game. It could be something mm-hmm. along those lines. But I do believe that they are going to compete to go for the One Piece. Shanks is not here to say, you know, since I, Luffy and I are friends, I'm giving... I, I think it would be more of up. a White Beard and Rogers situation. That's what I think. I think it's... I think I think, I think. think Shanks might be even more so like a Garb-ish type of character to where, like, sometimes it... it for him, it the lines might be blurred to where sometimes you don't know where he necessarily that's, stands. That's where, I, that's where I'm at with Shanks. My thing mm. is, he... Obviously, there's a lot... To what we don't know about Shanks, right? Like we've talked about that, his lineage, who he comes from, the fact that, yeah, like you said, he can step into a room with the Gorose and just walk out, right? Like if the fact that they know he took this fruit that they were trying to keep under wraps for however long, and this they is let like him keep it. they let him keep it. They just like it obviously then uh, Luffy ate it, but they knew what was going on, right? They've they've taken out. A celestial dragon before maybe not necessarily the gorosei themselves but we saw a celestial dragon get taken out up at a um what was the big meeting that they had um, oh, like, uh reverie. Reverie. The yeah, reverie, reverie. right mm-hmm. we saw we saw a celestial dragon get taken out so it's not like just be oh because he's a celestial dragon they're not gonna touch him because they can't no we've seen him do that now mind you is he more powerful than said celestial dragon that's taken out absolutely it's, i mean it's shanks right we, we've seen him with like you said with the kid feet which ain't that big of a feat, but the kid feet, right? Um, <laughs> All right, let's not do that. But, but, yeah. not do that. <laughs> but I guess my, my, point, yeah. my point with Shanks is is more like I feel like he's more he's not on. And I know we're getting to the point in the manga where even uh, get a little bit manga spoiler. We're getting to the point where um, we don't necessarily know who, at least back in history, who was the good guy, who was doing what was right, whether it was the Gorosei or whether it was Joy Boy, right? Like we don't know who the quote unquote good guy is, Mm -hmm. but based on what we've been going through with this whole entire story, we got Luffy. I'll just say strides. I won't say pirates in general, but Luffy and his crew and the world government. The world government's evil, bro. Like we just we just going we just going to chalk that up. The world government's evil. I feel like. Shanks is a lot closer to the middle than we think he is. 100%. And because of that, I'm I'm suspicious of what his true intentions are. I'm not it's not necessarily him ha- I know he's going to go against Luffy like that has to happen, right? The whole exchange yeah. of the hat like Shanks is like give me my hat, right. like, bring my hat back. Yeah. Like that's going to happen. And that's yeah. not what it is. It's more of I think there's a lot more to Shanks that we don't know and I think that his history and his background are going to show that he's not necessarily a quote unquote good guy like we all think and know him and love him to be. Yeah. I think he's a lot more again in the middle and we'll find out how far left or right he truly is but i'm i'm very suspicious of his character again being able to do all these things obviously i know rob you talk about even marine for like shanks is him so he can pull up and stop everybody but like he's one person and like yeah his crew, kinda, his crew is kind of dope but literally if everybody, everybody turns around and attacks shanks like is he truly Pulling out of there because we he's got a Kainu there. We got our you know like everybody. Like is everybody, pulling, there's something going on with him outside of of all of this. That like it, there's something don't sit right with Shanks. And so, am I putting Shanks at number one fraud? Absolutely not. Absolutely, not. absolutely not. Especially now with the people that we got on this list, Shanks is not number one fraud. Ten, I'm 
I'm until right, we get to some other characters, I'm like eight. Ah, I got Joe, Joe, that list, was bro. Joe, that was a great breakdown, right? But my my only thing is is I don't want to try to put him into a York type of box when it doesn't fit. That's my thing, right? York is somebody that obviously was a part of Vegapunk's camp and she yeah. switched up yeah, yeah, yeah. and was Team Gorsei yeah. and all that right. stuff. Which and so I'm she saying, would be she would be like upper upper like top yeah. five, you know what I'm saying? Basically, like, yeah, she would get switched yeah, up. She's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I'm not definitely no, definitely not putting her up him up there for sure. Right. Right, right. But that's why I feel like a lot of people saw the saw Shanks in the in the meeting with the Gorsei and, and they're trying to put Shanks in that York type of box know. where I'm like, I mm. don't think yeah. Shanks even yeah. first of all, his crew doesn't even stand like that. Even if you look from any any type of backstory, SBS, anything like that, you think mm-hmm. Ben Beckman and all these people would be sailing with with, you with, with think Shanks? That they would know, though, but I think that's the thing is that we don't know. I don't think because anybody knows too yeah. much of anything about Shanks right now. Like, you don't think his own crew knows no, about Shanks? Luffy didn't no. know about Sanji's history. No, that's true. But like, that, people don't be knowing about people. But like that's, but that's so if Shanks stuff to keep stuff away and like, hey, yo, I gotta go handle this. Ain't nobody going to follow Shanks. No, nah, but but, but, but see, my, but see, yeah. Luffy is different though. Luffy is a. We already know Shanks is more calculated than Luffy, right? But which that, worries crew, me. But, but that is but, my worry. But Ben Beck, yo, Ben Beckman is Luffy's also in that conversation for how? one of the most calculated. Shanks, Shanks tends to pull up by himself. That's so, exactly. Thank like you. When he when he pulled up on the Gorsei, he was by himself in a cloak. You know, like, he like didn't nobody's have... gonna know what's going when on he, with when that he guy. steps on Whitebeard's ship. It's him. It's not him and his crew. It's him. Did he pull the Marine Corps with the crew? Yeah, because there's a. It, it's like if some goes but down. But at I this time, we already know who Shanks. I think I think that I can agree with like Shanks probably being somewhere in the middle. But I think that he's got influence on both sides, and I exactly. think that he's using that. To his advantage, you know, like yeah. over here on the pirate side, he's Yonko, he's his all powerful pirate. But over here on the Gorosei side, it's not necessarily like a power thing, it's more of a he got a lot of knowledge kind of thing, and he knows a lot, and he can use that as leverage. On top of that, he is strong, so it's not like he's somebody that you could just take out with one dude, two dudes, or whatever. He's not somebody you could just take but, out easily, like that. But, so but Tracy, can, you know, Tracy, let me talk. ask you this, right? Even if even if, because I think part of Preston's point is that uh, Shanks' father is Figgerland Garling, right? Hold on, I yeah. didn't say that. Preston, you say <laughs> I mean, that all that, the time. That's part of the point. You say that all <laughs> the time. He is, he is but, Celestial. <laughs> right, right. Even if be. that is the case, right? Then we then can we not look at characters like Rosie Nante and say, okay, you you have Celestial blood. That does not mean you have ties to. Can we not look at characters like Sabo and no, say? For sure. So but that's all I'm saying. They, but they've uh, never been in shaky what, situations exactly. like Shank. Like they're Shanks. not doing what Shanks is doing. They're not they're going not. to Marie's Y and commanding an audience with a pirate commanding an audience with the five. That is unheard of. He steps for in you? there by himself and they listen. And like, they listen because because, because he's what? strong. Because that's if that's it, the case, Kaido only- and Big Mom could also pull the same no, piece no, no, they 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 I'm, I'm just they saying, can. as as young goes, as young goes, they should be able, especially Kaido, like they should be able to kind of pull those same feats. But it's not because of his strength. It's because everything it's because else. His strength yeah. is part of it. And it's like, yo, it's we have an all out battle. He we knows up on him right now, for sure. But it's not. I think his strength is not the reason they was like, hey, yo, yeah, let him in the room. And okay, he what you have to say. And okay, war. you can walk away and go do what you want to do. Come on, let bro. Me, and he stops the he war. He knows too. To where the, the, Gorsen, Trump, the Navy the is like, oh, snap. Yeah, Shanks, whatever you want, bro. Because no, Shanks, bro. Tr- no, it, you power, about, man. power doesn't mean no, I get power. Is no, 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 no. He does have, he does, he does have, he does have some, <laughs> he does have some political power behind him, right? But some? I think I do, I do think it's some, right? Because mm-hmm. I could, I could see him having Garling as you know the that whole family bloodline celestial background. I could see that being a thing. Yeah. I'm just not. Going the full, he's York 2.0, super calculated. Do we, I think for sure. For sure. Do we even and, and, know what he said in that room yet? Has that no, even been? No, 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 no. 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 But, I th- 
But, I, well, we don't, but we don't know I what also, pirate he the, was talking about. We just know that he said he wanted to discuss a certain pirate. Yeah, We're, people, think it's, what it people is, think it's Blackbeard. People think it's Blackbeard. Luffy or Blackbeard. Yeah, Those it's Luffy or Blackbeard. Blackbeard. Yeah, but it's crazy. But and that is what I I stand on when I say ideologies. I think that Shanks is more so like a person of order, and I think Luffy disrupts that order very much. So, so if he went to the Goro say, it's like, hey, yo, like we might have to check Luffy, like. Dude wants to be free, and he so already why has. Why would he be at Egghead? This is the perfect opportunity I mean, but, but, for but, him to flip. But, no, no, no. Because that's all I, I'm but, saying. Because, because one, I don't think that we're in the story yet to get there. Number one, because if that's the case, there are, there should be a couple of people that have pulled up at Egghead, and we haven't seen a couple of people right, there. Fact. I just don't think we're there and in the story. As Shanks, well, Shanks, well, Shanks is on, on Elbeth. Right, he's like, let's go get. He's like, all right, let's it's, let's. It's time to go get the One Piece. Like, it's yeah. it's it's time to go handle this and finish this out. Right, so yeah. he's not. Yeah. Luffy ain't there yet. So he's like, forget Luffy. Let me go get what I need to get, and then if I gotta handle Luffy, I'll handle Luffy. But yeah. I do believe like that 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 discussion was about Luffy one hundred percent. I no. yeah. Well, look in terms of this list, I still think that Shanks is at the bottom. Me too. Me too. Just that's, just that's, looking he's, looking at he's the seven list, seven or eight for me. Looking at. Hmm. No, okay. Actually, actually, I'm a, I'm a put, I'm gonna put Shanks at like, what we got ten. You yeah, yeah ten total. I can, 10? I can see nine or eight actually, because yeah. I just saw somebody else on the list, so I, I would say probably nine. I, right. I think, I think I, I'm outnumbered. I think nine is a good. I think nine puts us in a good spot. Basically, we have two eights, a nine, and a ten. So nine is nine is the that's still basically man. bottom. That's yeah, but, it's still yeah, low. There's I just think, somebody on there. I, yeah, yeah, I think it was. Shanks, I mean, Shanks was definitely not going to be top five. Like, there was nowhere, oh, no, there's no, no way, especially with the people on the list. Like, Shanks going to be top five, right? Yeah. But I definitely think there's there's some thought that needs to be had about Shanks and who he is and what he truly stands on because we have absolutely no clue. Yeah, no, I I, think, I understand people questioning Shanks. I just feel like I think if if he truly was shit. like that, what, what was that, Chase? I think we just got to watch him a little bit. I'm not yeah, totally. Yeah. No, no, I'm not saying yeah. like, like okay. Ayo, we need everybody eyes on Shanks. I mean, kind of because he's the one person that literally has only said, Ayo, time to go get the One Piece, but not necessarily for fraud fraud reasons. Like everybody yeah. needs to pull up on yeah. Shanks kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. Bro. I so, love One Piece, bro. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, yeah, Piece, yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. Hey, listen, bro. Exactly, the oh part is, I tried god. so hard to keep like I was like two One Piece characters at oh, maximum, it was and like, then I was yeah, like, was I, I can't, I can't. So <laughs> this, a, this will end up like like five or yeah, it's, it's yeah. Rough. So uh, all right, next on this list um, comes from Tracy's favorite anime, uh, Mr. Sasuke Uchiha. Um, oh, Tracy switched actually. He switched. Oh, I did. I, I did. When? I did, yeah. I, I, admi- I admitted that One Piece is better than Naruto. Oh! Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. You locked it in, man. Hey, yeah. Tracy. Congratulations, bro. <laughs> look, Welcome. look. Lo- logically. Logically, Welcome yes. to reality. But in a biased standpoint, oh, we Naruto, get bias. Naruto has my heart in a, yeah, from a biased sure. standpoint. But in terms of what is logically better, better I think One Piece got it. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, yeah, but I love congrats. them both the same, just from different standpoints. Completely okay with that. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations, brother. Welcome. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Welcome to I was reality. Lost, but now I've been found. I feel like I got <laughs> blind, but anyway. now I can see. Wake up, wake up to reality. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? <laughs> All right, but no, Sasuke Uchiha. Um, Tracy, this is this is this is your bottom of the man. list. He's not a fraud. I don't care what anybody has to say. No, nah, that that was the only person I looked at when we were discussing I knew things. It. I knew it and I was, was like, too. put that man at the bottom of the list. I don't care, bro. I have I have a deep understanding for Sasuke Uchiha. All right, and I wanna I wanna call everybody out that be picking on my man Sasuke, bro. If y'all was in this man's situation, y'all would have either killed yourselves or lost y'all damn mind. All right, this man went through hell and high water with from the jump, from the jump, from being eight seven eight years old or whatever seeing his brother kill his whole family and him not going insane and still staying in the leaf village still trying to train and do things the right way of course a brother's gonna get lost he's on a search for power you know what i'm saying he's gonna make some wrong decisions because he's tunnel vision but he still came back dog he still came back okay after he accomplished his goal yeah he you know you know what i'm saying he dealing with with grief you know what i'm saying he went over there and pulled up at the five kage summit that was stupid that was dumb he should have done that I don't know Crazy. why he did that, but he did it. Whatever. But he stood 10 toes down on his decision. You know pulled what I'm saying? Killer B. Crazy yeah, pull, work. Pulled up on everybody and was, was doing work. And I mean, he lost. Got work. 
He got worked by Killer B. I ain't gonna lie. He got, he got worked, worked by a couple people. He, uh, couple he got people worked. Got worked by. He got people. worked. And like I will say that Sasuke, a lot of his fights he gets bailed out of. I will. Right, I will right, say that. I, I, I will say that hundred percent. So well. I will say that's, that a hundred percent. But this man, he ain't no fraud, bro. He ain't no fraud. That man is not to be messed with, bro. <laughs> That man is, is is a serious situation right there, bro. And I love so I don't care what y'all gotta say. Listen, going hey, next. Hold on. I can I, can I preface this that for a while, Sasuke is my favorite character. I, I tend you. to go with that side character, that dark, like dark side character. That, that tends to be my favorite. However, yeah. however, a, a little list here. This man got mm-hmm. bodied by Rock Lee. So this is this is where he my did. this is where my my fraud thought process come in. Is he's an Uchiha. Who mm-hmm. they're known to be obviously very strong. And obviously he, you know, they all left. So his like training by Uchiha has kind of got diminished, right? But mm-hmm. he's been known to be and talked about and acts like he's the baddest man on the block. Right? Word. Yeah. Okay. For sure. So this is this is where my fraudulent part comes in. Like, this is where being the competitor and the athlete in me, right? Like, I don't talk on the field until you start talking. You start yeah. talking, then I gotta put you in your place, right? So Sasuke is a talker. He he's yeah. he is and he isn't. But Sasuke is a talker, right? He got bodied by Lee and realized his Sharon gun he wasn't did. gonna do nothing. He did. The killing intent from Orochimaru when they pulled when he pulled up froze him and had to be that's, saved that's by Naruto. Different, but okay, had to that's be, Naruto different. Didn't, did Naruto freeze? But after after the Naruto situation, Naruto he started that, boxing. Okay. Talk about okay. it. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 boxing. yeah. And not he, and Naruto got nine tails close. close. Just saying, man. Was the yeah. nine tails cloak out when he stopped the Rochimaru snake? No, it wasn't. I mean, I think I Anyways. think that that has yeah. something to do. Yeah, I think that has something to do with it. But okay, he copied and stole from Rock Lee, the dude he got bodied by, to even keep up with Gara, and yeah. he still lost. I mean, he but, didn't but, lose but, to Gara. He got that's what, by Naruto. That's what Naruto. I said. That's what I said. That's what I said. We need some clarifications on this, bro. Got okay, saved because Gara. Gara had to flee the scene That's in order to get away from Sasuke so that he can he can so he can go it, to he can figure his situation retreat, out and then and then and then strategic but if, really Joe no, he got bailed out by really Conqueror and Tamari he got bailed out by Conqueror and Tamari okay because okay. they came over there and they said hey Gara we gotta go bro you're gonna die basically he was finna die okay if we keeping it a stack okay sasuke, sasuke was in there die, doing the work we was keeping a stack from orochimaru what okay. like he, he no was, but orochimaru that but that's that's different like you, i'm just not gonna sit up here and hold a lot okay. anyway. look okay may, maybe i should retract my statement because if we're going based off of like this i, I was this going is, more so based off of like how much i like sasuke. I, I had i had that coming too that card's coming too basically and then i had obviously one of my my favorite moments of humbling sasuke is that Chidori Chidori versus rasengan moment where he was like <laughs> <laughs> I'm the big bad wolf. Let me walk off. Yeah, you wasn't. You was gonna die. And then, oh, oh snap! You, I, I was gonna die, right? Yeah. And then, true. you. I know you talked about he's going through the grief. He he left the college mission and came back and realized he was tripping, right? Yeah. How do you call someone a friend that you stuck your whole hand through their chest and tried to kill them, bro? Bro, this man, this man's whole the whole the whole show was about get Sasuke back. This is, is my fraud- friend. Is that a fraudulent thing, though? You yeah, gotta bro, understand, you bro. Yourself. If you're gonna be about it, be about it, right? You right, because I got one person. You right, you right. If you're gonna bro. be about it, be about it. He this wasn't man, about it. That's all I'm saying. Look, so yes, but he was being manipulated, and I love Itachi. Don't get me wrong, bro. That's like my favorite character. But he was getting manipulated by Itachi's words when he from when he I, was I, eight. I, I got you. Because Itachi, quote unquote killed Shisui, his best friend, and he told Sasuke, hey, you got to kill your best friend or something like that in order to obtain this yeah. kind of strength, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? So Sasuke has to live with that for a long time. He has to deal mm-hmm. with all these L's you're talking about, and he's like, I'm not getting stronger doing things the right way. I'm not getting the strength that I need to get doing the r- things the right way, even though he was progressively getting stronger, he was not seeing that because he's like, I just keep losing, bro. Like, I know I'm good. I know I'm kind of him, but I keep losing, damn it. So, like, now I got to keep this, this dude with the yellow hair who I kind of like, but I can't admit that I like. I got to keep him in order for me to be able to kill the guy I really want to keep. And, like, bro, like, would I have done the same thing? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea I, I have a, because you, you, I've sorry. my brother didn't kill 
my whole family. Thank God. That, uh, so, I, got, I, got, I, got, I don't I got know. A I got a character with a, a crazy older brother to compare him to, right? Uh, Killua, right? His older brother basically was like, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, because that's one of the I love for it. That's, Killer, that's a it, totally it, different. It different. How, no, no, no. I'm just comparing comparing the whole like big brother to you to your best friend situation, right? Mm-hmm. His big brother was like, "Hey, yo," basically put him in a whole hypnosis, basically to where he was trying to tell him, "Leave gone, you gonna die. I'm gonna kill you and come back home." Had a whole needle in this man's forehead. Mm-hmm. Getting him to act this way. What a killer would do? Did he try to keep going? Yeah, but I think I think that I think that trauma is different. I think that trauma is different. Killer didn't have a brother. Killer didn't have a brother that that murdered his entire family. Killer stood on what he stood on. That's different. Killer stood on what he stood on when he realized he was being manipulated. Hey yo, real quick, Rob. Rob, what's up? That ain't that ain't the same, brother. Rob, what's up? What's up? What you going with, Rob? Um. You know, I well, I was very interested to see uh, <laughs> how, how Joe was breaking this down because I wasn't sure if we were going on writing or on power. Um, if we're going on power, it, then he's higher on the fraud. I, I, yeah. I, yeah, the way I've kind of I've, each character is honestly different for me, in, in the sense of how I'm talking about him, Sasuke is one that I was going on both power and writing. Um, okay. But then I would put him at like six. It's based on each. It's kind of each character's own situation because some of these characters are frauds for different reasons. So, yeah, I I feel like I feel like Sasuke. Um, you know, for the most part, Tracy is right about shooting him some bail based on situations he's been through and based on you know how much Atachi has you know set up for his path and all these mm-hmm. other things. But obviously there's even more to that. Every Naruto's a story where there's a puppet master playing a whole bunch of different puppets that are playing each other and, and Kaguya standing at the at the top of it all yeah. and Black Zetsu, obviously. So we know how that went down. But at least for me, I think Sasuke, the only thing that I really did not like was at the end of the, the fourth grade ninja war where he literally fought Naruto for actually no reason in my eyes. Like <laughs> that fight was even though I was fire, it really made no sense. Like Naruto's like, all right, we did this. All right, now let's <laughs> let's go back and you know, Konoha, let's rebuild. Nah. And Sasuke is like, nah, nah like, we got box. I'm doing this. Yeah, yeah. We got you gotta see. I'm like, bro, this makes no like we just we won just, the war. Right, God he is sealed. <laughs> Let's fight me. And Sasuke's like, fight nah, me. you got to see me. And loses his arm in Boruto. So it's like, what's this for? Like, yeah. it, it didn't have to happen. That's the only thing that Sasuke looked goofy in for me. I feel like got, that's like the main thing. He got a point. You know? bro. All right, that's listen, really I, I, I would like to actually move Shanks back down to the bottom. <laughs> um, <laughs> Come on, Jason. Because y'all got y'all got y'all got some points. I ain't gonna lie. I just like Sasuke, <laughs> but like as far as like the fraudulent activities that he be doing, I I would probably put that man at like six. Mm-hmm. That's what I would I'm say. cool with that. I would say I'm cool six, bro. Yeah, he's he he Sasuke he at losing. six. Yeah, he Sasuke losing, six and, and Shanks at ten. No, we ain't moving Shanks yet. No, 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 no
his one job was to take care of Naruto. That was the uh, that, Hokage's final wish, bro. Just just look after my freaking that, kid, bro. Not only him, but his wife, too. He literally took Naruto from his wife and said, I will take care of him. Bro, bro, they said, I want my son to be looked at as a hero. I Mans mean, was not looked at as a hero until he was 16 years old, and he had to fight for his damn life to get that title, bro. As if it wasn't enough to put a whole 100-foot fox in a baby. And That'll then make on, you a hero enough, bro? Yeah, and then on top of that, I mean, he did let Donzo kind of run amok. Like, he's Listen, a squad whole too. Come on, bro. Let that's, and that's where, everything. And that's where I was going to go. I was going to say Donzo, because a lot of people are forgetting Donzo was the main reason why Saratori even had those many issues in the first place, oh, yeah. because he still mm -hmm. had to clear things with the council uh, of, of but, Konoha before things were even happening. And but even does he not have power over like veto power, basically, as the Hokage? Is it a, is it a majority vote? Or is it no, you saw the man. elders. They had meetings. You know what I mean? I, they I, had I meetings. So yeah. 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 I think Tsunade had good, some man. trouble with the elders. You know, Tsunade yeah. had some trouble. I can give uh, Hiruzen some, some bail on his troubles with that. But what I can't give him bail on is letting Naruto drink expired milk, bro. I can't do that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. But yeah, I can't do that, bro. That's crazy, also dude. Instant ramen but, all the time? Are you freaking kidding me, bro? He should be living in the Hokage mansion. Why is he over but, here in hey, a little, a little uh, hood with no apartment one, with no one watching over him? And, and no here's the crazy me. part: he, like Haruzen sat there and watched the village ridicule this man. Come time on, bro! And time <laughs> and time again, he just Come stood on, there bro. and watched. You got you yeah. got time to. To, to lecture him about painting the, the whole Kage faces, but you can't. But you make sure but you can buy him some milk. Yeah. yeah. Hold can't up. take him out to eat once a week. Come on, bro. Like, we Hold should up, be having weekly meetings, bro, for an hour at least. Take we me know. out to dinner, damn it. I have a <laughs> fox inside of me. Come on, Yo, bro. But <laughs> even when nobody, when, when none of us are saying, though, is the, the third Hokage literally went to Itachi and said, Yo, you see your clan? Get him. But, okay, so 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 so, so so that necessarily Mama wasn't man. him all the know, way. Donzo, I feel he, like. was in that, he was in that. He that's was in that too. Donzo. He but was in that too. But, but, no, I agree. But, but but he let yeah. that happen. He I think that he just, let that. He let yeah. it happen. That's how his fraud. Yeah, and he didn't yeah. correct. He didn't correct to like try to like basically fix the issues that the second call and he could have I and mean, i think that's my issue is that the he could have Uchihas, right there was yeah. no talking yeah. there was no hey yo let me get right. y'all together it was like and hey, something yo, bro you know and mean? you know what else he didn't oh, even you? apologize <laughs> after he got reincarnated bro he didn't even look at sasuke and be like hey bro my bad you know that thing that happened <laughs> yeah i'm, I'm sorry I, I up. nothing nothing bro homie just went and just Turned into paper pieces. Not to mention, and, and Joe brought um brought this up too. But the whole what? Orochimaru joint, he just let Orochimaru run a muck. This man yeah. should have been locked all the way. Come have been on, done. Bro. Yeah. Come yeah. on, yeah. you're my can't even get student, man. I gotta, I gotta give you a little bit of this grace. This man so was doing crazy experiments. Yeah, bro, and take that lost to him. You yeah. what? And then lost what? So. Let's, he let's, really did try though, but okay. let, let's, I mean, he did try, but you know, yeah, let's put him at one for now. Yeah, I'm I guess. cool with one. I, 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 yeah, I, man. I thought that I'm cool with one. I mean, I'm okay with one. You get moved. I'm okay with one. You get I'm moved. That, man, I'm okay right. with one. There you might get be one other sure. that could that could meet one, one. but okay. You could one, definitely man. get moved. Um, <laughs> Tracy was like. I thought you were saying, hold up, like, I got to go right. to real quick. No, he was like, I'm going to be honest right away. He was saying, I'm going to keep it a stack. I'm fighting for my life right now, but we're good. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Next on, <laughs> next on the list, we have Kisame. Um, mm. I we're going through Naruto and, and One Piece real quick here. Um, okay. P had P was the one that liked this on the list, so I'm gonna let P P start us off if you got something okay. to say. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just uh, for me, it's more so that Kasame was built to be like this, this really, really, really um, goaded guy. Chakra reserves was supposed to be astronomical, and he pretty much lost every single fight. I don't even care about a backstory because we didn't really get too much on him as, as far as his backstory. But the fact that he was supposed to be that guy and he turned out not to be that guy. I mean, there are multiple people that he lost against. Killer B, Mike got like the list goes on and on. Um, so as far as like for me, strength feats, 
very much a fraud because again, this dude was supposed to be like that guy and was not that guy. Mm. I can I can definitely understand that. I do think that Kisame has one big saving grace about him though, and that is his suicide, bro. Like that, you know. I ain't, I ain't promoting suicide, bro. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got a reason to be here. You feel what I'm saying? But that man stood 10 toes down on what he was backing. He said, I ain't telling y'all nothing. I ain't giving away no information. I'd rather die. And then he killed himself. And I'm like, bro, that ain't no fraud to me. That's that's crazy, bro. Like, that is the definition of having somebody's back. Like, I don't, Was he on the wrong side of things? For sure. But he said, nope. Mm-mm, not getting a word out of me. No kind mm-hmm. of information. You're not reading my that's mind. Valid. None of that. I'm a. I'm gonna have my sharks eat myself. And that's crazy, <laughs> before, before bro. That, that looks like it hurt. I ain't <laughs> that ain't no. That ain't no swift, swift death either. That's a mm-hmm. nice little torturous one. That's yeah, valid. bro. That's I, I I do think he should be somewhere at the bottom just because of that, bro. To be honest, I don't think he got to be at the very bottom. Yeah. Okay. But I would put him at like eight. Seven. Okay. I can see. I can see seven. I can see that. I can okay. agree to seven. Rob, what you what you got? Rob was trying to get us to put him at nine. I know he was. I know. No, I'm just trying to figure out how this, the, the, based on what Preston was saying. I mean, it sounds like there's more evidence against Kisame than Shanks, but you know, we can, we can put him. <laughs> we can put him at. We can put him at seven right. <laughs> if that's if that's what it is. You know? oh, All right. right. All right. Or so whatever. we got. we got? Third <laughs> so we got. Yeah, we got third at one. Sasuke at six. Kisame at seven, and Shanks at nine. Kisame is going to get lower on this list. I'm going to just let y'all know that. He is. He probably will. I'm sure he will. All right. Well, we we got someone who I think should be at the very, very top of this oh, list no. coming up next. And that is the, the one and only uh, Akainu. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, hey, we got okay, Rob. Okay, we agree. Yes. Okay. Yes. This yes. this man is is he hasn't old. done anything. <laughs> no, he punched a hole through Ace, which okay, now you did some. We we saw you do some, but since then, after you got the title of Big Bad Wolf, head honcho, you've been sitting sitting there, standing there doing nothing and just letting everybody else do something while you complaining about what they're doing. Right? You want something done, do it yourself, and you ain't done it. And and which I get that he probably can't do it because of like the powers that be. But on the same flip, dude has not like we've only seen two major feats from him, and that's one him um putting a hole through Ace and him fighting um Alkiji. Like those yeah. are pretty much the only two feats that we Uh-oh. I can remember we've seen. Uh oh, Tracy got <laughs> one of them holes in Whitebeard came from that man. That man Mm. Put a hole through Whitebeard. Yeah. Was boxing with Whitebeard. Kind of, he was kind of whooping Whitebeard too. <laughs> Rob, I didn't, Rob didn't like that. <laughs> he was he was kind of whooping Whitebeard, bro. Until Ace died, then Tracy. Whitebeard said, "Nah, I'm finna put you through the planet, bro." Okay, but and then but, he still didn't die. This was a battered and bruised Whitebeard, old sick Whitebeard. We that's a look. Wait a minute. But he took a full force attack from Whitebeard and didn't die. Came back and said, I'm still ready to go. Whitebeard and was... didn't finish him off. Tracy, you gotta remember. He didn't. Blackbeard wow. <laughs> and his whole crew j- literally pulled up on Whitebeard with one HP because <laughs> Akainu couldn't even finish the job. Like, Whitebeard... Look. In his old and yeah. sick days, you, you attacked the wrong it, person. It, 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 listen, listen, listen. White beard stay in here. No, 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 no. Because I just listen. I, I, I get there's Admiral fans out there. I understand it, right? Mm-hmm. But what I don't understand is how people can look at that fight in that specific situation, seeing how Akainu was literally trying everything in his power to chip away at Whitebeard. So they have the best chance to actually take him down there. He's getting people, uh, he's getting his, his allies to stab him. You know, everything he's trying to do to chip away at Whitebeard. So yeah. if once they fight, he's more weakened and ready. It, it points to me s- clearly that Akainu cannot Fairly square up with Whitebeard, at least no, at Marine Ford at that no, time no, in a one. Not at all. I he couldn't fairly I agree do with it. you. I agree. And there's people. Okay, okay. There's people out there that say, "Oh, Kainu won. He he won." And I'm like, "No, no, no, no." no Kainu didn't win. No. Kainu didn't win. But Kainu was boxing up a weekend Whitebeard. He was. 
you know, undeniably, you know what I'm saying? He was moving on that man. He did like a little magma move where he went up his arm and then hit him like, bro, he was moving on Whitebeard, bro. And he did put a hole in his body and he did is, is take a, a f- the main thing that I'm talking about with a Kainu isn't even just the hole. It's the taking the full force hit. No, that, hit was, that hit was crazy. Yeah. No, I'll give you that for sure. His whole body got distorted, bro. Like, no, and it, Whitebeard it, has it, hockey, so it hurt. He, he took it to the head, too. It wasn't like a body shot. That to was the head, head shot. And came mm-hmm. back. It's not even like he got knocked out, bro. Forget the fact that he didn't die. He didn't even get knocked out. He caught himself on a ledge and said, I got to go back up. And he came back up, bro. Still ready to murder whoever is in front of him. Except and I, Chase. Except and now Chase. we can go oh back to my God. regularly scheduled programming. Because um, <laughs> you know when Chase pulled up, he said, oh, uh, I don't know. Don't so, so, lie. So, so, but, but, hey, listen. All I'm saying I think is he should be at at least five. At least. I, I, I was thinking four. I'm not four. mad at five. I was, I was, I was thinking, thinking four, two. I was thinking four, two, but I... I, I was thinking two. <laughs> that man's strong, bro. Listen, everybody out there loves to hype up a kind of say, oh, he's top one, all this stuff. No, <laughs> he's not. First of all, it took him 100 days to box with somebody who has a devil fruit advantage, elemental advantage on in in Kuzan. Literally. That, Kuzan like, is different, though. That man is yeah, built yeah, different, bro. Yeah, he, yeah, he is. is. He is, and and that's why Kuzan's teacher, who's eighty five years old, could still could have wiped a Kainu off the face of the earth and Marine Ford. That's why Ten Goku okay. had to say, "Yo, yo, time out, clear out, we gonna get, we hey, gonna get, <laughs> yo, clear out, uh, man." <laughs> uh, okay, that's a good point. I'll put him at the three. I'll put yo. him at the three. I can't put him at at one or two though. But but this is and, and Tracy, I'm saying this in jest a little bit, just because this is me. Really, in the series, right? Mm-hmm. Oda had this one statement where he was like, "Yo, offensively, like a Kainu's devil fruit is like dangerous. It makes him like one of the most dangerous offensive characters in the series, right?" Yeah. People took that one excerpt from Oda and ran with it and said, "Yo, a Kainu kid solo the whole verse. He's all oh, he's Goku, like." Mm-hmm. And it's like, relax, a Kainu. First of all, Fujitora and a Kainu are still right now even. A question if they if they got to scrap it. That's already a oh, question. Yeah. Right now. Fuji. Fuji. Yeah. Fuji. Fuji. Hey. Fuji. Fuji might take that back. Fight. Hey, hey, that's a, that's a conversation. Fuji might even, take that man. Right. But even with that, I still am a firm believer that to this day, I believe that Garp at Marine Ford could have killed the Kainu. Um, How do you do? And, uh, yeah. And I feel I like too. the hockey that we got to see just recently from Garp, and I, and I believe it was in Hachinosu, like. <sighs> Yeah. Hey, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? So yeah. again, I, I, I think a Kainu is strong and I but I still feel like we need to see a lot more hockey feats from him to even start putting him in in yeah. these types of crazy, crazy conversations of some of the strongest characters mm. in the series. Like again, people like Shanks are people that he stopped and didn't box. So again, okay. he's big and bad, but there's levels to this, and I feel like the community especially the Admiral fans have put him at a space where he's not at for me right now. That's why I would put him number two on the list. Respectfully. I put him at three still. I think P would you, would you have P? I originally had him at four. Um, but Ooh. looking at this list there, I think there's somebody who's a little bit more of a fraud than a kind of, so I'm going to stick to four. Okay. Uh, I think based and I would I had him at three or four ish range. So based on that, I think three is a is a decent spot for a Kainu based on okay. based on the average right, of what we got you. here. So three perfect. Days. So Kainu at three. Okay. All right. You surviving mm-hmm. over there, Tracy? Huh. Okay. Yeah. All yeah, right. We we get we get. All right. All right. All right. Um, next one on the list is Captain Yamamoto from Bleach. Uh, I. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, stop it, Tracy. Hey, stop nah, it. Nah, he no, up there. No, yeah, he, no, up, he up, up there. Stop, 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 he up there. No, I'm not he stopping that. He, he up there. there bro. He, wasn't, he, wasn't, he wasn't even fighting the real deal, bro. You won't fight the real deal, bro. 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 It seems like we all agree. Me, me, Tracy, and Preston. So, Rob, go ahead and defend this man real quick. Defend him with your life, bro. But he he wasn't even fighting the real deal, bro. He had to go all out, bro. Real quick. Against a actual fraud. Against a fake. Just to say, and maybe I'm wrong, and, and maybe Rob, you'll correct me. Um, I do believe it was stated that the double ganger was as strong, or if not, on the same playing field 
as like the actual character. I don't know if that's necessarily true or not, but still, I the hear fact that. that you lost to a, that to a fraud is is kind of wild to me. It is crazy. You literally, here, you literally lost to a copy. It's, it's, but go here's ahead. my thing. Come on, bro. I agree that Yamamoto needs a spot on this list mm-hmm. because the way it was his his portrayal was throughout the series was right. that he is of top tier status yeah. when he steps out onto the field things get shaky even from mm. earlier in bleach you're yeah. seeing just his spiritual pressure have people in the soul society falling kneeling down and it was like okay he's here um my thing is is a lot of people aren't seeing the other side of the coin this is similar to like the Blackbeard Rayleigh situation in One Piece, just a little bit here, because when Blackbeard fought, uh, no, when Rayleigh pulled up, when Blackbeard was on uh, Amazon Lily, everybody was like, oh, Rayleigh said he's not ready to fight Blackbeard, so Blackbeard's stronger than Rayleigh, but people are also forgetting that Blackbeard also was like, yo, Rayleigh's here, I got a jet, this levels to this, I don't know if I'm ready for Rayleigh right now. So, they both weren't, didn't feel they were ready for each other. I think when you look at what Yuhabak did in that situation, he looked at Yamamoto and he respected him as an adversary. And he was like, if I have to deal with Yamamoto's Bankai, it's going to be an issue right now. Let me plan ahead, send a decoy, have Yamamoto use his Bankai, and then finish the job once he's weakened is a completely different situation. That's why I feel like I saw it as a sign of respect of Yamamoto's legacy and like how powerful he is. And that's why it's kind of like when you're, it's kind of like, imagine you're playing Smash Bros, right? And you get the, you get the final smash. Your character's like, oh yeah, I'm souped up now. And then you use it on some like, like some BS support character. And it's like, oh damn, like you just went all out for that. The thing is, is Yamamoto used his all out attacks on the wrong, on the and wrong I, person. I, think that's I don't the think issue. that is a See, sign that, of him. That's but the issue. I don't think that's a sign of, because had that actually been you about, that would have been crazy. But it was the, just him using his special on a shadow clone. Okay, okay. And, so, so, so then there, there are some some issues going on with with me because if you are so again supposed to be that guy and yeah. you lose to a lesser lesser, like you won't even like in the in the top like stern riddles, like you were like one of the lesser lesser ofs, and the fact that. And that, didn't kill that, him. That, 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 right. The fact that Yamamoto had to go all out on a double ganger, but then ultimately pretty much loses to a double mm-hmm. ganger is, is an issue. Yeah, when crazy, you bro. were built up to be that guy from like day. Well, he didn't he didn't lose well, to no, the he, he didn't he didn't I mean, he, he didn't lose, but that's what I'm about I mean, to say. He, 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 clapped, he clapped it. No, he clapped he, well, he, 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 he destroyed him. You yeah, you are you are came in after that and was just like, oh, now you look weakened. All right, here. I don't it. think Yamamoto should have like that. That that power gap should not have been like that. It shouldn't close. have been that like, big. It no, should no, have been like a, no, no. a snap for him. But but that's but but see, but that's the thing. Yamamoto Yamamoto was because remember this is the thousand year blood war. There's history between these right. two, right? Yeah. Yamamoto saw uh, a character that looked exactly like the Quincy King of old, and was like, okay. I'm going all out. Like he saw red, you know, he was like, look at what you're doing to the that soul is, society. That is I'm going no, all in and I'm killing this. Like I'm killing him. And he did just that. But then he realized, Oh snap, this was a shadow clone. Like I, I use my special. I use my, all my, but, all my key blasts. Everything. But that on is the, the issue clone. is you use all four. You used still all four to like, get rid of a double. Like you should have been able to do that with your sheet. Like didn't, this should not have been. A thing. He didn't. No, no. I'm with you, but and that's why I say he deserves to be on this list. But I'm saying he didn't know because once he saw this character, he saw red, and he was like, "I'm going all I, in." He didn't. Rob, know. you have a you have a very very fair <laughs> point. You, you do. do. You, do. Yeah, you have a very fair point. But I think that like what Preston just said is that Yamamoto did use all four, bro. And like if the power gap, the power gap should have been so big against yeah, this clone that's, who that's doesn't point. even have half the power yeah. of the King of Lindsay's, he should have been able to KO him with a portion of his Bankai and not have to fill out the whole entire. He even had to destroy the whole soul society basically and everybody's like, hey, yo, hurry up and wrap this up yeah. to take this dude out. He had to keep going in order to finish it, you know, when it should have been done 
in the first blow. Because like you said, Yamamoto saw red. He went all out from the beginning. Mm -hmm. But his all out at the beginning should have been enough to beat him. He had to keep going all out until his well was dry. And that's the problem. Yeah. I, I guess the way I saw it, and I, I understand what you're saying, Tracy. I guess the way I saw it, it was that it's like imagine Goku using a super spirit bomb to like kill a Cyberman. Like, you know, like he just mm-hmm. he was just like, yo, I'm destroying everything. But it like, wasn't, he just but out, it wasn't you know? all out. He had, had like, four Goku. He, he, he had a he Shikai went, and Bankai and all four. Bankai it'd be like four. if he went, okay, Kaioken, okay, now Super Saiyan one, okay, now Super Saiyan three, okay, right. now you Ultra went through Instinct. your whole You should have been done before you got to all your instinct, bro. But also, yeah, even if you use to. like the spirit bomb example, like if it was spirit bomb, then that spirit bomb should have just killed him from the jump. It shouldn't have had to been like it's a kid boo spirit bomb absolutely. where he had to do an extra push on it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it should have just been all right, yeah. all out spirit bomb done. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't so, yeah. like that. So yeah. I would say Yamamoto is either at two or four. He's one of those two. Because we already got Akinu at the three. Yeah. We got third Hokage at the one. Yeah. I think I'm Yamamoto. A little bit of bail here. I think Yamamoto. I got to Yeah, Yamamoto. Four, yeah, he got to go four. He I'm got to four. go four. Hold on. I would actually like. List. I would so like to got... put Akainu at four and put Yamamoto at three. But I'm not upset with that. I'm cool with that because that's what I was leaning. I'm that's not what upset I was with that. So move Akainu down. <laughs> Chichon's <laughs> not having it. <laughs> yo, yo, <laughs> you got a kind of less of a fraud than or more of a fraud than than Yamamoto? Yes. I don't really. <laughs> All right, bro. People <laughs> have been putting him in top one. Hey, Are y'all, yo? People okay. have been putting a kind of you know top one in the we, verse. We can debate it later. We yeah, can we can debate it later. later. I'll yeah, put Yamamoto let's... at four for now. I'll put him at four for now. Okay. Yeah, I'll put him at four for now. <laughs> all right, all right. That's fine. <laughs> can you cool with that? Yeah, I'm good. Next on the list is the Prince of Saiyans, Vegeta. Um, my my reasoning here for this is, is similar to um, the Sasuke issue that I had. Is all bark... You got some bite, but not enough bite to back up all the bark that you had, right? Like, yeah. to the point where this man, uh, you know, obviously pulled up. Sorry, let me make sure I say exactly how I wanted to say this because I got, I got it, right? I got a lot. <laughs> He's ready. <laughs> I got a lot. Um, the Gallic Gun versus Kamehameha with, um, with Goku in the beginning. The standoff lost that. Uh, got his, now, this is a little sketchy, but I'm going to throw it in there just because it's still an L. You got this tail caught off by Yajirobe. Yeah, it's um, sketchy. It's sketchy. He was yeah. so desperate to prove a point that he went after Gohan, a child. You're the prince of all saints. You got this pride. You're, you're supposed to be one of the supreme top of the crowd, but you're going towards a child. Now, does Gohan have some potential and strength? Absolutely. But he's still a child that's not doing anything, right? Yeah. Uh, he got taken out by Gohan and Krillin um, at one point. Krillin put a hole through this man's chest. <sighs> Rukum had yeah. this man in the ground and called him a vegetable. Yeah, Rukum was good. <laughs> Called him a vegetable. <laughs> this man got choked out and thrown around by Frieza, arm broken by Android 18, body yeah. by Gohan again. Um, and then body thought he could handle sale? got thought thought he could handle sounds like hey yo, yeah. go perfect and let's 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 have at it. Um, and then obviously got embarrassed by Kid Boo. There's, there's there's a lot of L's going on here for someone that claims to be uh, him. Man. Yeah, that's just now. Do that's, I, Vegeta's one of my favorites. I'm gonna Vegeta just put that out there. is my favorite character. He's my Dragon second Ball. favorite character. Yeah, he's my but favorite. he he be taking L's, bro. He he do. I I was when I saw his name, I was like, damn it, bro. Why y'all put him on the list? <laughs> <laughs> I I would have to put him at like we don't got anybody at the five yet, do we? No, we do not. I, I would put him. I would put him there, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I can't put him at the bottom only because, like, he does kind of start to prove himself a little bit more no. in Super. Yeah. You know? Uh, yeah. Um, it, it, yeah. In Super, he gets a bit more shine. You know what I'm saying? Like, in the, uh, when Frieza came back in the resurrection thing, like, Vegeta was just, like, kicking back. But yeah, no, for sure. I think it was either in the movie or it was in the actual show. Um, cause they did it different on both of them. But in mm-hmm. one of the scenes, like, Vegeta, was like the one to take out like Frieza or something like that. Like that was a yeah, version that could have happened yeah. or something. I don't remember if it was in the movie or if it was in the um, show, but we like showed like, oh, this was, was the movie. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it the movie? Yeah. Well, it was like a version where Vegeta stepped in and just finished Frieza with one shot. Damn. And I was like, oh, like Vegeta's actually like, is yeah. he stronger than Goku in this moment? Like that kind of like is what that seemed like to me. But Goku was also holding back a lot in that fight too. Cause he was just having fun. Uh, but Vegeta, 
in that moment shows himself to be strong and super. Also in the in the tournament of power against Topo, he takes out Topo. You know what I'm saying? He On does. his own, he finally he gets a, a nice W by yeah. himself. So you know what I'm up. saying? And then he like goes to try to like help Goku fight Jiren, and we see how that goes. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And but Topo Vegeta, was up there. Top, Topo was up there. Topo, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like God they said that Topo, like, Topo yeah. was up there. Yeah. Yeah. And he had like God of Destruction abilities yeah. too. You know, and for Vegeta to overcome basically God power and just be able to like take out Topo like that. Granted, it took almost everything he had, but that's also the key thing. It took almost everything he had, not everything. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I think Vegeta gets a lot of redemption in Super. In Super? Yeah. I get that. In Dragon Ball Z, no, he gets hoed. If we're just going based off of that, yeah, he might be like damn near at the top of the list. But because of Super, I would say like he got to be like somewhere in the middle. I'm just uh, looking okay. at these next one and two, and I don't have them over. Um, like Vegeta's going to go under them, in my opinion. But, yeah, mm. Rob, so would you the next I two? Put him there. We got three more. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Can, so wait. What are what are the spots that are open right so now? So the spots that are open right now are two, five, eight, and ten. I'm putting Vegeta at five. That's where I put him. I, I can't put him. I can't put him at five. Where are you where are you putting him, P? If you just had to pick a number, where would you put him? He's not at Cause, two. Because we could definitely, no, he's we definitely could, not at two. We can adjust and move people around. You know so where what? would you put him? You know what? I do have two open, so I'm okay with that. I can put him at five. Okay. Cool. Cool. Rob, Rob, you good? <laughs> I'm thinking because um because <laughs> initially, right, my, my thought process was was alongside Tracy when we first started talking about it, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's in super um he redeemed himself and yeah. also, you know. He also had that moment where he was appreciating uh, Kakarot's greatness. Right. Yeah. Uh, shall I say? Um, but <laughs> I believe the moment during the Majin Buu arc has to not only be spoken about, but it oh, needs yeah. to be highlighted, oh, yeah, even at sure. a greater, greater scale. I think you know you got to understand this man is the reason why Majin Buu got revived in the first place. For sure. Um, Goku many, many times during their battle was trying to warn him, hey, look, you sense it too. You know, Majin Buu is coming back. I think we should stop right now. When And Vegeta said, nope. And then when Goku and Vegeta had a chance to actually do it, he pump fake Goku, pretended to act like he was going to go and team up together with him, knocked him out, and said, oh, I got this. Blew himself up like Pedro and didn't even finish Majin Buu off. I, if that is not one of the most craziest... Uh... Listen, I get you want to rival Goku, but you're the reason why Earth is blown up and now we're boxing on Supreme Kai's planet. That's I'm crazy. just being... That, that, to me, is wild. And that's that all is... just because you that wanted is, to fight that Goku. That is you wild. know what I mean? I mean it, so... it came at the cost of the entire Earth. Yeah. So, like, for Where me... I mean, that might have to be a two, man. I don't know. That might. Be I mean, that's 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 <laughs> rough. That I almost I almost get what Rob is saying because he's he's put the world in danger like not only once but twice with Sale when he was like, "Hey, yo, yeah, go ahead, like do what you got to do," and then you got bodied. Like you yeah. put the world yeah. in jeopardy on more twice. than one occasion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So that's rough. The I only, agree. Uh, There's another hard, person though. on this list. That's though, that's, that's my only like... thing. Yeah. That, I, that, that, that I'm and it, it pains me this other person that's on this Uh-oh, list. Not, but I, no, I know, no, no. no so we're talking about Let's 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 wrap it up. Where would you put him? I'm gonna put. I'm sticking with. I'm sticking at five. I'm sticking. I'm sticking yeah, with five too. I was sticking with five for now. Okay. I'm <laughs> sorry, right. Rob. Sorry. No, it's all good. I mean, you de- good. definitely made some great points, though, for sure. All right. Next on the <clears> list. <throat> next on the list, we have Mr. Garp. <clears throat> Do we have anybody at eight yet? Nah. Put Garp at eight. I was going, whoa, that's crazy because I might have put Garb at two. Bro. Garb's not a fraud, bro. See, bro, no, bro, I know bro. where person is going. Bro, Garb, I know Garb's not a fraud, bro. bro. Garb's Garb not a fraud. Look, with the, ace, with the ace situation. I'm not even just ace. There are more that's instances. instances. That's, that's, that's Rob, Rob. That's not where he's going, Tracy. That's not where he's going. Where are you going? Tell me where you're going, I'm going God Valley. God Valley. Yeah, I knew it. Why? Bro, he was there and watched all those people get slaughtered oh, and didn't do nothing. All right. all right, yeah, that's valid. That's pretty. His valid. morals are so bankrupt. That's this valid, man bro. allows all the things that he says he's about and wants to do. He doesn't do it. He does has other people do it for him, 
And then you That's sat there and also watched Watch your, 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 son, grandson your grandson die. You, and the most you can do again, is, Rob, yo, hold, on, hold me back. <laughs> right, exactly. Rob, we talked about it. Is he stronger than Sengoku? Could he have got Sengoku off his back? Because I, I believe, I believe, yeah. I believe he's done. stronger than Sengoku. The most, the and, and all you did is like hold me back because if you don't, I feel like yeah. I'm really. Yeah, bro. That's what that's what we doing. Yeah, bro. Fraud, bro. He's a yeah, fraud. That's two. That's two. He's for a me. fraud. He's up there for me. Here's my here's my thing. All right, I'm gonna defend Garp mm -hmm. at God Valley. I don't think that he's right for that. I'm gonna defend it though because Garp was young at God Valley, and Garp mm -hmm. Garp's moral compass from God Valley to an old Garp is two completely different mm -hmm. things. Kobe, it's, if if Kobe's in that situation, Kobe it's, not no, happen? it's two different things. Let me say why it's two different things. All right, you got a young dude who's in the Marines. He's arguably at the top of the Marines, right? And he thinks. This is the right side of things right here, okay? Like, I'm on the right side of the world and stuff. Like, I'm doing things the right way, and I'm helping run things right now. Then he witnesses the God Valley situation and stuff. Does he do anything? No. But I strongly believe that at that God Valley situation, that's where he started to see, like, oh, this is a little bit more or a lot more corrupt than I thought. I'm going to start doing things my own way. Homie raised the king of the pirates. Son well, not officially raised because he put him on a mountain. But yeah. like, you know, took him in, kept him hidden from the rest of the world, even though morally where he's supposed to be at, he's not supposed to give a F about anything that the pirate goes on has going on but he takes care of this child because he's like this is a child i don't care if he's got demon blood or whatever i'm gonna make sure this child is good that's a really really cool thing that he does there also we don't see garp in many sticky situations like other marines we don't see him caring about the celestial dragons at all he doesn't he doesn't give right. a damn about them OK, we don't see him doing any sticky situations with like the slave trading or anything like that. We don't see him there. We most and we see him go and visit Luffy after Luffy does the whole in his lobby situation. And he's just like, hey, bro, I just came to have a conversation with you. You know what I'm saying? Like he could have easily caught Luffy there, but he likes to play around with Luffy because he's like, this is my this is my grandson. You know what I'm saying? And with the ace situation, you can see how much. But, homie is battling because he's that, like that's that's bro, that's, 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 that's the, the thing, thing. and i think those two situations are sticky enough because even if we go with dragon who was a young marine at the time dude mm -hmm. saw things weren't right and he was like hey yo i'ma dip out we did not get to see that with garb garb stayed an old man knew things weren't right and still mm -hmm. stayed that is an but issue. Can we yeah. can we argue that Garp is trying to change things from the inside out, though? Because look at how Garp is impacting the younger Marines coming up. Look at his impact yeah, for on sure, for Kobe. Sure. Look at his I impact on Helmepo. Like, that, look at his impact on these younger people that are coming up. Yeah. If he's like... I'm sure he understands why Dragon left, you know, because like I, th I believe him and Dragon were Marines at the same time or something like yeah. that. You yeah. know, like I'm sure he's like, you know, Dragon's doing his thing. I'm sure he understands that. But from his standpoint, he's probably like, I'm going to yeah. stick around and make sure things don't at least get worse. Yeah. You Rob, know? what you got, bro? Rob, what you got? I, I, I think it's more so um, when I look at Garp, I see somebody who's, uh, you know, a prisoner of his older times. I believe mm -hmm. that Garp came from a pirate era that um, in some ways was more dangerous, more vicious. The pirates of that era were there was no real such thing as like good pirates for real. Like yeah. everybody that was a pirate during Garp's like heyday was yeah on timing. Oh, for and sure, I feel for like sure. that has really just shaped the way Garp looks at pirates overall. And he's sticking to his guns because that's how he came up. He so is. even though Garp is wrong now, I'd shoot him some bail just because of the era he came from. He came from the era of Roger and Shiki and, and Whitebeard and yeah. like rocks, like yeah. legends, oh, sure. like people that were on, you know what I mean? So yeah. because Garp came from that era, it's that's the only reason why I do shoot Garp some bail and say, listen, like, we got to remember, like, there's some people that, like, there's even some Marines, like, we can even say, like, Kobe's good now, but, like, Kobe's, like, uh, a Marine that has, like, some, like, sense of, like, humanity and morals because yeah. he met Luffy before yeah. he even yeah. became a Marine. So he's like the concept to him of like there being good pirates out there was like a makes thing. sense. Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, it makes yeah. sense. Garp for the most part didn't really even have that. The only right. situation that we know about 
garb with the pirates besides mm. like luffy situation was roger being like yeah. yo watch Take care of my son. and yeah. he was like okay you know what yeah. whatever i'll do it Garth's so i just figure think out that, everything on his own yeah. right right and yeah. that's why i feel like he's just you gotta think of him as like you know like an old grandpa that's just like he's still stuck in the in the 1950s and yeah. we're like yo we got cell phones yeah. now I, and i think that's go ahead joe I was gonna say, I just to kind of wrap it up a little bit. I would put him four ish. Based, I'd give him, I'd give him a little bit of leniency, like you're talking about. I, instead, I wouldn't put him at two. Yeah. I'd put him at four ish. So, well, seeing I, all the I, points, I would probably put him at like maybe six or five. Yeah, I could put him at at a at, at, at a four ish too. Like I said, and I think for me, like morals are big. Like even though like that that is like the times of the times. Like you seeing innocent people getting slaughtered, like doesn't like do something to you or react like you still yeah. stay in that that's an issue regardless of like it's of the times yeah. or not you gotta right. know that that ain't right yeah right yeah, yeah. right I so where, right. where are you putting them p but look we only got a few spots yeah what, what I mean, spots? We, no we no can, no we can, no. We can, we can move a kind of up yeah we could bump people <laughs> <laughs> so rob where are you putting them then rob huh wow. <laughs> wait wait oh you said like four or something right because a kind of would go up uh right? i mean that means uh, no, no. Can Yama, we can we Yama switch him with Sasuke? Down. You want Sasuke to go where? Sasuke if to I, eight and put Garp at six. I mean, Wait, hold up. Who's down. That? I would just hold bump up. Who's at seven? Down. Seven is Kasame. So I would just basically if we put if if we put Garp at four, Yamamoto would go to five, Vegeta at six, Sasuke at seven, Kasame at eight, and then Shanks at nine. So wait, where's Akainu? Akainu's at three. I think. Oh. I think so Akainu needs put, to stay higher than Garp. But yeah, also, so I'm saying, yeah, yeah. So put a Garp three, or if you want to bump no, 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 a Kainu two, two Garp mm. three. <laughs> no, no <laughs> way. <laughs> no way. You're so <laughs> evil, bro. <laughs> no, no, okay, okay, bro. <laughs> so we're, so no way. Up, if you had to first of all, put him. First of all, he's going under Yamamoto. Okay, Yamamoto's staying up there. Not Yamamoto needs to stay in the top four. That man's a fraud. I don't care. I would put Garp at five, and you can move everybody else down. That's what I think. P, what you what you think, P? Who's sitting at four right now? Yamamoto. Yamamoto. He That's need to stay he, his butt yeah, there. Yamamoto got the goal, and I ah man, he got to stay his butt there, bro. God, I want to move Garp to two, and I know that is like really crazy, but like that morality thing really is heavy for me. Um, actually, I I'm actually, you know what? I'm I'm cool with Garp going at four and moving Yamamoto down. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. All right, yeah. I wanted him at four too. So, yeah, Rob, I mean, Rob, where, you, where, you, where would you put him, Rob? But I mean, you kind of already lost. Rob want to put him above Akainu. No, 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 no. I want, I want Akainu to go to two. Oh, so. and you want Garp? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, but that yeah. means if Akainu goes to two, that means okay. Let's do that. Let's do that. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. Akainu so, two, Garp Akainu three, two, Garp three. Yeah. Uh, yep. Sound good to me. All right. But all we right. got we got another person next though. Yep, and that's what that's why let, take all them hot spots. I'm cool with it. Kainu so we should have third Akaga, Kainu, Garp, Yamamoto. Oh yeah, we can make some room. Um we can make some room. We can make some room. Yeah. We can make some room. Yeah, just, let's go on. Right. Let's go on to the next one. We still have ten open, right? We still got eight and ten eight and ten are open. So oh, I, we I, we I, have a problem because I Oh, we'll we got no problem. We got, no got a problem. <laughs> no, we'll yeah, we'll yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll, we'll make room. We'll make room for <laughs> anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he wants to move, yeah. want to move Shanks down anyway. All right, no, next, next we have Captain Kid, which is why I don't, which is why I don't like how this list was going. Exactly. No. There's no way Kid is at eight, bro. No, Kid that, should man, be, that man Kid is losing, bro. That yeah. man Kid is Kid oh, needs to go towards bro. the top of this list, bro. I so like I, Kid too. That's the thing. I want to see. I don't think Kid is as weak as he's being played out to oh, be. Agreed. But I think the people that he is fighting, he should not agreed. be fighting. Agreed. But he 100%. does it to himself. That's the issue. He does. This is does, this is the sure. I'm big bad wolf, and then I get humbled kind of thing. I, you know I what I'm agree. saying? I agree. So, I think Kid need to just like sit realize that he's more warlord level. You know, like I he's think not he's stronger than that. I just again, like you say, he goes up against some some dudes that he just has no business going up against. He, like he warlord, he's definitely stronger than warlords. I just think that he his he bounty is the same as Luffy's. Come on, bro. It, no, that that shouldn't exist. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, honestly, he, he the, did the take whole... down a, a, a Yonko with he the help did. of law. Think no, mm, okay. With the help of law, see that I that's go. that's my thing, bro. Like yeah. law, law was kind of the driving force. Thank that's you. Not if true. We're, if we're bro, law, law did true. at worst. That's at worst, true. I'll give you law did seventy. Kid did thirty. That's at worst, crazy work. But okay. 
That's not, bro. I know we I know we are stacked on time, so <laughs> yeah, I, won't, yeah. I won't go in. Preston, Rob, what you, me, got, what you got to let, say real quick, Rob? Rob, don't ask me no questions, man. <laughs> what you what you Cap- got for me, Rob? Captain Kid <laughs> is a fellow Conqueror's hockey. Sorry, user. Eustace Captain Kid. Yes. Useless Captain See, and that's, that's why I don't even want to go in here because the slander is ridiculous. I don't think he's Sorry, useless. My bad. He's, he's, my bad. he's my bad. not. Okay, he's my swinging bad. out Sorry. of his ballpark. I'm go ahead, Rob. Yeah, he is. Go ahead, Rob. He was somebody that was considered to be in the conversations of Luffy and Law. Mm-hmm. When you look at what Kid was able to pull off, he lost his arm to somebody that wasn't even Shanks. Then he says, okay, you know what? I'm going to spin back on Shanks. Shanks says, no, don't do it. Please. <laughs> Please. Clear. Clear out. And Captain Kid says, nah, bro. I got this. And literally, <laughs> one hit KO plus collateral damage to yes, the crew. The whole crew. Mind you, it, it I didn't Shanks, even though. talk about how Captain Kid ended up in Udon prison because Kaido fell out the sky and cleared the whole camp. Captain I Kid mean, is that somebody. Ain't his, that ain't his. Uh, 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 yes. Uh, yes, Preston, yes I think, look. I bro, get I, it. He, he's, he's, he's a, a, he's I like a Kid. I'm a Kid fan, okay? Yeah. But we got to accept reality here, Thank bro. Thank you. <laughs> it's, it's, yo, yo, you I love that I have to have to say much. That's all I'm saying. I love the it. reality no, is, bro. This man, kid, he don't kid don't know what he's doing, bro. He's yeah. just doing it. He just out here being reckless, you know. And the only reason this bounty is that high is because he's a he's a true pirate. You know, he does like real legitimate pirate things. You know, he's a menace. That's why his bounty was the highest at Saba Odi Archipelago. I agree. He had the highest bounty. Which is yeah. He's but crazy. he's still not as weak as like I and because I think I think that's more so like I agree like fraud yeah like he he's very Vegeta as to where like he runs his mouth he runs up on the wrong person and he gets nice. Yeah. I, I agree with that one hundred percent. What I don't agree with is like people calling him or people saying he's weak as, as what he is. But but fraud he should be I'll strong. That. He should he's be not, stronger. He's not weak by any means. He's but he not should be way weak. stronger. And did way he did he stronger. do a lot of work with law? Yes, he did a lot of the work. Law did a lot of the heavy lifting, though. Law was the one applying, like, how do I say it like this? Law's not a big damage dealer, right? But he debuffs the hell out of you. He will debuff you quickly, you know what I'm saying? If You, you ever play those games where you got to make, like, a team and stuff, <laughs> yeah. and you got to have, like, yeah, a you team gotta have, yeah, yeah, something like that? You the support character. Yeah, you know, and you got like your main DPS, you got your sub DPS, and you got your buffer, or you know what I'm saying? (laughs) Law's Law is a support most time. Law should be like a support support character. character. Law, that's the one thing. That's That's the one thing about Law. That's his downfall is that like he's not big on damage, but over time, bro, you're gonna fall. If he's able to like hit you with everything that he can hit you with, it, you're gonna fall. Yeah. And Law was putting in work on Big Mom. He was weakening her, silencing her, like all of this stuff, basically making her I- immobile so that kid can continue to do damage to her. And kid kept doing blast after That's blast a 50, 50 after blast after okay. blast. It took so many hits 50, for this man effort. kid to finally not even knock her out. Just get her off the Come island. Here, anyway, so where Listen, where we where do we want to put um, where do let's 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 go where do we want to put this where, man? Where, here, where are we at right now? We who's got at, eight. We got eight who, and ten left. But who's basically, at, who's at four? Uh, Yamamoto. So Garp three, yeah, Yamamoto four, Vegeta five, Sasuke six, Kasame at seven. I would put I would put Kid under Yamamoto. I would put him now, at five. I would put him at five. I would say I can move Vegeta down. Yeah, I would put him at. Mm. F- yeah, Wait, right there, bro. hold up, bro. I think, I think, I, I think, think kid, more of a fraud than kid, kid needs to be higher than Garp, bro. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, kid thank you. So, so you. Kid, at, kid at three. Oh, kid at three. Yeah. Yeah. Kid, yeah. kid three, yeah. Garp four, Yamamoto yeah. five, Vegeta yeah, yeah, five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kid at three. For sure. Better better yeah. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Especially the way he acts and carries himself. Yeah. As if he's him. Yeah. A thousand percent. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All right. This one. Yeah, no, for sure. All right, this one was more. This was a me. This was a me thing. I'm not sure. even gonna lie. This last character, okay. more of a me thing, and it's not. There's not much to it, mm-hmm. but it drove me insane. And me and P have argued this many a times. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna go with Aaron. And for me, my biggest issue with Aaron and my most fraud 
issue with Aaron is his 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 love for Mikasa. That is where I'm coming as far as a fraud. This entire show, the 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 however many years it took for us to finally get to this crucial ending, there's one moment in the entire series before his confession at the end that we see Aaron show any affection for Mikasa, and that's with the scarf. That's it. He saves her life. He puts a scarf around her. That's it. Every other moment, he's telling her off. Leave me alone. Don't bother me. Why are you doing this? Headbutts her. All this other stuff. Go do that over there. Oh, let me manipulate you real quick, too, and be a jerk, which I get was part of his whole little plan, right? Yeah. But the oh. way he did it was OD. This man is a fraud in that regard, okay? I know it won't put him very high on the list, but I just want him to be acknowledged as a fraud in this situation for his affection because he went from all that that I just said to, I don't want her to be with anybody else, bro. Don't end up with Gene. Don't, I, I want her to be with... Bro, come on, bro. Come on, bro. So but that's, that's why. I like this, man. So there's that. Aaron is the most fraud, not fraud person ever. Okay. <laughs> His whole character is built on him being a fraud. He has to be a fraud the whole series, really? which mm. just shows how genuine of a human being he is. And I know that sounds mad Shit twisted and like I've been gaslit or something by a master <laughs> manipulator. But let me tell you something, bro. This man, Aaron, is a master manipulator because he had to be for oh, everybody sure. else's best interest. And the main argument that kills me is that Aaron went through. And people say this, Aaron went through all of this just for war to come back. But if you look at the credit scenes, bro, how many years Mom, went yeah. by of was peace? Was yeah. There was hundreds of years of peace. It's not five years, ten, because they went from basically huts, little cities and stuff like that to blimps in the sky, airplanes, huge cities that look like this generation's Tokyo and stuff japan like to that's flying vehicles <laughs> hundreds of years of peace because of what aaron did yeah. not what anybody else did for sure so aaron yeah. did what he had to do for not just the person he loves because people love to say oh aaron did all this for mikasa aaron did this for everybody bro because everybody benefited from what Aaron did. No, for sure. I mean, I everybody, that man that lived. <laughs> everybody that lived. <laughs> everybody, everybody that lived. Everybody's crazy. Everybody's crazy. I, 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 everybody okay, lived. okay. The vast majority. The vast majority. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, the vast majority. The, 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 the minority. Vast minority. I, listen, yeah, listen. The vast the, minority. The, my, my only issue <laughs> with, 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 which is why I call him a fraud, is that he did not finish the job. Like, if you're going to do it, do it. He didn't want don't to finish stop, the job. Don't stop at 80. Give me the, give that's, me the that's, whole that's honey. His thing. That's, his, that's Quit, his whole point. Clear the job. You're crazy. Clear the job. <laughs> don't hey, don't let crazy. Pete get hold of no weapons, man. <laughs> You're crazy, man. I, I Robbie, need Aaron to go at the bottom of the list. I don't care. <laughs> Rob, okay, hold on. Okay, okay. Bottom, Rob, bro. I, Rob, go ahead and say your piece real quick, Rob, because I, I know I know where you want to put him at least. But well, say your and piece. Before, before y'all get in the... Hold up, bro. Before Rob says anything, before y'all get in the conversation, Tracy promoting genocide, shut up! <laughs> it's an anime! Relax! So hey, you and Preston together, you know what I'm it's saying? It's not real life. I'm just it's saying not. that this man, Aaron... Did what he had to do yeah. in an well, anime. Say, it's, not, it's not real life, but he no. should have cleared the whole thing. I, I, I think, I think, well, <laughs> I, I don't believe the Marlians didn't give Aaron a chance for sure. to, to really have an answer. I feel like a lot of people put the blame on Aaron, right, for doing it. Um, but even when you ask people, like, I understand you don't like what Aaron did, but like in that situation, how was he supposed to react? I to think that there were, his life and the people. I uh, think that there were a couple of things that he could have have done. In my opinion, I think sometimes he used like excessive force. I think that there were a couple of things I think that could have been done better. Um, but but mm -hmm. I just believe that the Marlians like, oh, weren't okay. the Marlians weren't trying to have any types of conversations. They weren't trying to listen to anybody. This is no. something that has been going on for years, and they already look at the Eldians as like tools. Like they, yeah. you know, like they're not really. They don't view them as humans. At yeah. that point, when there's no respect, no conversation can be had. We tried to you talk; it ain't, ain't working. Yeah, yeah. yeah if bro, talking's like, not working. It's like, and and right. that's where Just I talk. feel like, yeah, and that, and that's where I feel like even though what Aaron did can be viewed as, you know, wicked or evil, right? 
you have to also look at the Marlins and say, if you guys didn't stop, if you guys stopped antagonizing the Eldians and, and, you know, sending Titans after them and doing all these crazy things, oh, they that, wouldn't have felt the need to call the rumbling on the, on the yeah, entire world, sure. you know? Nah, for sure. So yeah. that, that's mm-hmm. where I shoot. That's where I believe I shoot Aaron some bail. And I, so I, I, I think, I think, but, go ahead. Go ahead, no, I'm, no, no, I'm no. gonna say real quick. Yeah. I just, I just think that, and that's one of the restraints that I feel like could have been had is like destroy Marley, but don't go for like the whole the whole but, world. But like, if he destroyed Marley, do. the rest of the world is gonna team up and try, get rid of But him. then try mm-hmm. that out first. I think like, and I get it. Maybe he had the foreknowledge of like knowing that this was going to happen. But I just think yeah, that's, from, that's what I was yeah. gonna say. But yeah. I, yeah. I think jumping remember, from everything. zero to one hundred is like very drastic, in my opinion, without trying different approaches. And again, maybe Correct. he knew something that like we didn't at the time. But yeah, yeah. he did. He saw no, the he future. He did. I think you also gotta remember this too. Like he he sees all outcomes, like you just said. He said, "I've seen." this outcome a thousand times i know how it's going to end no matter what i do it's always going to end this way yeah let's say he went the way that you're saying preston try this out first that's just going to prolong the suffering of everybody including him because he's already been going through years and years of knowing what is coming what's going to happen he's already dealing with all that suffering and having to carry basically the weight of the world on his shoulders because let's be real he was he was carrying the weight of the world on his shoulders so you want him to prolong it another 10 years that's crazy i just i i because like I have different... war takes a while to plan for. No, you know 100%, what I'm saying? 100%. It's not like they're, everybody's just going to like he destroys Marley and then everybody's like, oh, tomorrow, let's go. Like yeah. it's going to take like 10 years for them to gather yeah. the troops, get yeah. everything done and blah, yada, yada, yeah. yada. You know what I'm saying? So Aaron's just supposed to sit back, knowing everything, continue to suffer yeah, 10 no, more years. I, and like that's just, you know, I don't, I don't think that, but I, I, I see it. I, I see it 100 yeah. yeah. percent. All right. So we're so where we where we putting Aaron? We're putting Aaron at 10? 10. I don't want him nowhere else but 10. Oh, yeah, he goes 10. Un- un- He's 10, man. Right Rob, you okay with that? No, no Rob, not because Rob won't shake Rob, that 10. No, you <laughs> damn right. You, you so, Rob, okay. think, Shanks is at the, 9. <laughs> listen, exactly. no, the, way, the way Joe was speaking on, on, on Aaron just now, <laughs> I mean, how no, animated hey, he got, chill out, chill out. Hey, and listen. you say ten. What would you? I mean, he, did, he did go hard. He did he go did hard. hard. Bro. He he hard. Saw, I almost I saw a vein pop in his neck. <laughs> and now all of a sudden, yeah, Aaron's 10. Cool what 10, bro. I just want to I just to make sure I just want to make sure Aaron was on the list. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like he needs to be on the conversation of, of being a fraudulent man for his his uh his emotional uh control and his, yeah. his feelings. So I just had to I do you know. think that if he would have told Mikasa what he was doing from the beginning, I think that she still would have helped him out. Oh, one hundred percent. I do think that for sure because she loved him, you know. I think it would have yeah. been cool for them to have like a secret love going on, you but know, so that none. that can at least yeah. exist. But he just yeah. like, nah, I got to do this solo. But if like, it was me- secret, it was secret to everybody but Aaron. <laughs> yeah, bro. yeah. Gosh, so man, yeah. I don't know, bro. All right, could have so had a se- on- secret love child yeah. or something, bro. Secret out, love. <laughs> All right, so based, based, on, based on what we did through, we'll run through this list real quick, and then we'll get to our blind ranking and make it quick. Uh, right. Number one, third Hokage. Akainu, Kid, Garp, Yamamoto, mm. Vegeta, mm. Sasuke, Kasame, Shanks, and then Aaron. Crazy. I'm with it. That's crazy. Right. I'm mad at it. Like, <laughs> that, that that Yamamoto, it's solid, though. I got Yamamoto my eye on Shanks kind of now, a little bit, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, it's like 90% correct, though. Yeah. You don't get in <laughs> trouble for this whole list. That's still A. You get in trouble right. for the whole list. I'm just letting y'all know that. <laughs> Yo, for sure. I mean, we're going to get in trouble regardless. It don't matter.